The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you newer Switch games to get your retro fix on. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. So, Switch, retro, tons of games coming on the Switch all the time. In today's video, I pick seven games that have came out this year on the Switch these games, some of these games are available on other platforms. And in today's video, I am gonna share some games that I thought were pretty interesting with you. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. First up is Bridge Strike. It's a modern take of River Raid, various different campaigns, and each campaign has tons of missions where you're blowing up bridges and taking out enemies, kind of a top-down overhead perspective. You gather coins, you can then use those coins to upgrade to various boats and helicopters and ships. Do not take out the aircraft carriers as you fly over them to regain your energy. And so awesome soundtrack as well as fun gameplay. I like the uh, little flight control at the bottom of the screen. Thought that was kind of a nice touch and just the perspective of the game. At the end of each level, you get a medal up to three medals determines how well you've done. Here are the various ships and boats that you can unlock. Fun, fun, fun. Also on a side note, there is a version of this for the Amiga. It's a little bit different, but I thought it was pretty awesome that this is also available on the Amiga and on physical media. So definitely worth checking this out. If you don't have a Switch, no problem. Also available on the Google and Apple stores. Night Squad is the ultimate multiplayer experience up to eight players and it's kind of a weird combination of Gauntlet, Bomberman and something else. You choose your character and then you get to choose of various different game types within the game. This is primarily a multiplayer game. There is some single player modes but I like the multiplayer experience better. And so here are some of the different modes. There's even soccer and there's weird power ups and stuff. This has you defending your crystals while attacking the opponent. This is a different game mode in which you are taking the grail and taking it back to your base. A lot of fun. Crazy mayhem. I could totally see this being a fun party game playing with friends. There's even weird modes such as soccer. I don't know if I like soccer like the other modes, but it is varying gameplay. You may enjoy this. I like some of the other modes better. Also, if you don't have anybody to play with, there is challenges in which you take on various enemies and then you can post your high score. I found this to be less satisfying than the multiplayer modes. This is a $15 game and also available on the Xbox One and PC platforms. The budget pick today is They Came From The Sky and it's the 50s meets retro and it's a fun arcade experience up to four players cool mode by the way as well as choosing various cities so you're, you're picking a ufo and you're picking up animals people even elvis and trying to compete for a high score each ufo has various power-ups and abilities i like that of the single player modes i like the time trial better for $3, this is a great option for people on a break. Just quick arcade gaming experience. I like the theme of it. I love the sound. It definitely has that fun arcade appeal. Now, it's on sale right now for like a dollar. And so I think this is a great value for the Switch for people out there. I don't know about you, but I like searching the eShop and finding games such as this that are affordable pick up and play and have the game on for a quick break. This is also available on Steam, but I think it's a welcome addition to the Switch with the multiplayer mode. The Game Boy inspired puzzle game Warlock's Tower is amazing. And essentially you're a mailman offering a peace message to an evil warlock. And so you are going through over a hundred different levels. And so how this works is you have so many steps before you have to get life again. And then, so the whole purpose is to get through the room by going over these various numbers, which give you more steps. 
and you know it starts out really easy and then it gets very difficult i found myself really enjoying this title it's well made over a hundred levels and so i found myself you know sitting there i love that it doesn't have a timer as well and so making you think out each step and so as it progresses through various floors it does get way more challenging and so i just played the start of the game this is not a review but what i've played so far i really like this puzzle game it's got great aesthetics and great sound it makes you think that you're playing an old school game boy game check this one out also available on the ps4 vita and xbox one for five bucks gun crazy is a side scroller that pays homage to 90s games such as Gunstar Heroes. The action is frantic. I found myself very challenged playing this game, but I really did enjoy the graphics and the gameplay. It is fairly challenging. I like that there is a one credit mode. This game has you dashing, jumping, and shooting to survive. I really like the aesthetics of this game. It really pops, the characters are bright. I think it's a good fit for the Switch. If I had any complaints with the game, the game is fairly short, only four levels, and the second stage is kind of a detour from the first stage, it's kind of more of an homage to Pain. But I don't want to take away, this game is only five bucks, and it is on various other platforms, PS4 and Xbox One. I did like the first stage the best, but for people looking for that 16-bit fix, I think you're going to feel right at home here. I did enjoy playing this game for a quick, intense arcade action. I think for purists out there looking for something new with a 16-bit style, this is a good choice and recommend it if you're a hardcore gamer. Jane Silent Bob Mall Brawl is an homage to Nintendo side-scrolling brawlers. One or two players, simple premise, and there's lots of odd references to Jay and Silent Bob Media. And so the actual game is pretty simple. Punch, kick, jump, and you get special abilities for each Jay and Silent Bob. You can switch between characters in case you are getting damaged and low in health. You can switch out, and I think that's a really cool feature and actually kind of added to the gameplay variety. I really like the theme of this game and if you are a fan of jay and silent bob anything you're gonna feel right at home if you're not a fan of them you may not get a lot of the references that they pour into this fan service nes themed game and to mention that there is actually an nes version of this game offered by limited run games and so i thought that was really cool as well i definitely like the graphics and the feel of this game it, the game itself is fairly basic, but if you are a fan of the series or of Jay and Silent Bob, you are going to feel right at home. Mmm, eating meat from the ground. Yum! Zero, 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 zero is a great lo-fi puzzle platformer. I really like the aesthetics and graphics of this game. It's got a great soundtrack. And what I like about this game is it's fairly challenging. Over 100 levels, and you just, if you die, you just go on to the next level and so it's very challenging makes you think and it's got twitch gameplay your weapon really is just your double jump but what i really like about this game is that upon completing or dying you just get a random other level and so i think that keeps the flow of the gameplay this is a great game to play on a break that you know that arcade experience if you got you know five to ten minutes this is an affordable game it's only five bucks and it is available on PS4, Vita, and Xbox One as well. I highly recommend it for people that like these types of games. There's also a race mode in which you can compete against a friend for time. Check it out. The games I've shared with you today are budget releases priced at $15 or less. I love that. There's countless games coming out on the Switch. These ones are ones that I thought were interesting. What was the best game that you saw in today's video? Comment below, have you played any of these? Some of these games are offered on other platforms, and so it doesn't have to be just on the Switch. Many of these games are available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 4 as well. And so there you have it. I'm really thankful for the ongoing support. 
If you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, as well as click the bell so you are notified of when I post new videos. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you take care.